Baby Killers, hooray! Um, my second instalment of best, worst, could be. Basically going through the brands, lifting the three best on the brand, the three worst on the brand, and the three could be something of the brand. So, we are on the blue brand, known as Smackdown in the WWE Universe. Ugh, hate that term. And Smackdown as a whole? You no, know, it's, it's not what it was last year. Last year it was on fire, man. I've watched it every week. Smackdown, you say so? I just watched the bits. That seemed to intrigue me. Um, so let's kick off with the three best. We're going to start on a positive, yes. Because we're positive people here in the world of YouTube. Yes. So, the third best thing on the show, in my opinion, is the Dolph Ziggler, Vicky Guerrero story. I'm a fan of Dolph Ziggler, won't deny that. I've liked him since um, he was Chavo Guerrero's. Guerrero's? He's not related to Juventus, is he? Chavo Guerrero's caddy when he was um, Karen White. Yeah, Nick Nimmer. But I've enjoyed Dolph. I reckon he's a good mid-card wrestler. Pos if his name was different, because Dolph Ziggler is such a ridiculous name, he could easily be main event if I was booking main event straight away. There you go, sorted. But, you know, this thing with Vicky will help him. You know, he's getting more airtime, he's getting wins. I don't enjoy the sleeper gimmick at all. It's 2010, it's not the 70s. The sleeper holds. Every wrestler in the world has a sleeper hold. I reckon Santino probably uses a sleeper hold. He's the biggest joke there is. Hornswoggle probably has one. You can't put over the sleeper hold as a legit finisher. In 2010, like I say, it's not four decades ago, is it? But, yeah, sorry about that little rant. With positive people, yes, positive. So Dolph Ziggler and the Vicky Guerrero storyline is third, the most interesting thing on SmackDown, in my opinion. Second is dashing Cody Rhodes. Now, Cody Rhodes, I've always... Well, I, have, I can't say that I've always enjoyed him when he debuted. He's like, oh, I'm the son of Dash the Rhodes. <laughs> no, you're not... You don't interest me. When he was a parkour holly, you still don't interest me. With Teddy Rossi. Hey, you've got my attention. Well done. You've escaped from my non-focus radar thing. Would you have a radar for that? I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on radars. But Cody Rhodes, dashing Cody Rhodes, I must say. Um, you know, he, he was in the main event last week. He good. Solid in room worker. His promos are getting a lot better. Not a fan of the nickname or his f new theme music. Like, ah, who's the smoking mirrors? No. I, I preferred his generic theme music to so that, to be honest. But the mirror effect, if, if you've watched SmackDown, you know what I'm talking about. This week's SmackDown. The mirror effect. He looks at the time for and there's a mirror. And it's, it's amazing. It's like. Cody Rhodes, well done, good sir. You're second. Why aren't you first? Because CM Punk and the Straight Edge Society are first. Because I am a punk mark. I love CM Punk. Um, I am a straight edge, so... Another reason I love CM Punk. Um, the Finger Serene has really got me interested. I hope they don't split up the Straight Edge Society. Because, I mean, for God's sake, we need to know who the masked man is. Or the hooded stranger, as they call him. We need to know who the masked man is. Personally, I think it's Jerry Matthews, and I think everyone in the face of the earth knows it's Jerry Matthews now. And we'll get on to and Serena and the CM Punk. I thought they were going to kiss on SmackDown, but it's not to be. There's something definitely going on there, storyline-wise, kayfabe, if you will, if you will, but the role. Um. So yeah, that's the most interesting thing on SmackDown, in my opinion. Now we come to the three. Worst, yes, the worst three things on SmackDown. Third is Kane's, and mm, first off, we don't care, okay? We don't care that you're looking for vengeance. I certainly do not care. We know it's you. We know it's you. It will not be Jack Swagger, for a fact, because he's in a feud with Ray. So why are you making Kane go after Swagger? Why he's in a feud with the world champion is beyond me. We know it's not punk. I highly doubt it's Big Show, because Big Show seems like all jolly and whatever. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm just going to punch you out of my fist. No. 
And Ray, come on, Ray Mysterio, put out the Undertaker, please. We know it's you. It's going to lead to a crappy casket match at SummerSlam, and no one cares. I certainly do not. If you do care, please leave a comment, because I would really like to see someone who actually gives a shit about the storyline. Speaking about not giving a shit, Drew McIntyre! Oh my god! One week you're there, the next week you're fired. The next week you're there, the next week you're fired. Can you please make up your fucking mind about the story? I hate it with all my being. I hate Drew McIntyre with all my being. First off, your promos are boring. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Second of all, your in-ring skill is boring. I've seen you wrestle much better in FCW or when you were over here in the merry old land of the UK. You're married to Tiffany. That knocks a few points off. So basically, you are like minus four on a possible ten. That's not good at all, Mr. Drew. You're boring. God knows why Triple H will love you. Probably sees himself. Which, yeah, I can see Triple H and Drew McIntyre, but that's about it. End of hate you. Bye bye. Speaking of hating, team they cool. <laughs> Why is Michelle McCool got a belt? Why has she got a belt? They haven't explained this. She's the co-women's champion. What? So if she loses a match, does that mean that person gets the belt? They haven't explained that if Michelle McCool loses. Layla is the champ. Why is Michelle... Michelle McCool is... Ugh, you're married to The Undertaker. Okay, whatever. But your promos suck. Layla cuts a better promo than you do. I don't, I don't know why you get an air time. Why are you always you're either feuding for the title or you have the championship? Why can't you just go away? Go away. I hope Kelly Kelly wins it. I don't want Tiffany to win it because she's a fucking robot. Okay. But oh, they call Smelly Kelly. It's not Piggy James. This isn't Nicky James. We don't care about Kelly Kelly. We don't have smell vision we can't tell if Kelly Kelly smells or not. It's just ridiculous. Mm. The things I would do if I met those women. Oh dear. And I don't mean it in a good way, I mean it in a bad way. Um, from that on, we're moving on to the cuts. Who could be money drawers? Who could be main event players? Third off is Luke Gallows. Yes, the Detoxicated disciple of the straightest society, formerly known as Fetus, formerly known as the Freaking Deacon, formerly known as Imposter King. See, I know my stuff. Um, you know, from what I've seen, as Luke Gallows, he's a good wrestler. He can cut a decent up promo. I think Punk has definitely helped him out in promos. And, you know, he has the generic big man look that WWE always seem to go for. So, Luke Gallows, I reckon he'd be main event. Second is the Dude Busters, Caden Croft and Trent Barretta. They could be your Murder City Machine Guns of WWE. Obviously not up to wrestling standards, goodness knows. But, you know, just arrogant punks that like to, you know, play video games and go on Twitter and whatever you kids do nowadays. I'm so old-fashioned. Um, but, you know, they could be a good tag team. And trust me, you need some tag teams. And um, first off is Kurt Hawkins. Not with Vance Archer, a.k.a. Lance Hoyt, a.k.a. Lance Rock. Okay? You suck since going to you, Vance Archer. But Kurt Hawkins. When I see them together, I can't help but get the vibe that Kurt Hawkins is trying to be the Brian Kendrick gimmick. That's just the vibe I get. I don't know. Vance Archer's Ezekiel Jackson, so you have the charisma of my thumb. That's what you have. Naughty. Um, so Kurt Hawkins, he's a decent enough wrestler. I reckon he could do more than Zack Ryder because he has a more interesting gimmick. I reckon he's, you know, something screwy up there in his gimmick. You know, it has intrigue. He could be main event material, in my opinion. So, that's the best, the worst, and the could be Smackdown. Join me for the next installment of NXT. That would be a very short one, so I only chose one for me it's because it's such a small roster. So, Hip Killers, signing out, and drinking tea.
eventually.